Hi, I'm Glyn Dewis. Welcome to episode 20. And this week, I want to show you a couple of really quick ways that you can remove a color cast from your pictures. Okay, so earlier this week I had an email from an online friend of mine called Donny asking if I could help him out with a series of images from a photo shoot he'd just been on where there seemed to be some kind of a colour cast. So I asked him to send over one of the pictures so I could have a quick look and then I could give him an idea. And the image you can see on screen now is one of Donny's pictures. I believe he's cropped it down a fair bit, but this is one of his pictures. So what I thought I'd do is just show you two or three ways that you can actually remove colour casts very, very quickly. Now, one of the ways that I would ordinarily try to do this would be within Lightroom or Camera Raw, because obviously I'm gonna be shooting in RAW, which means that straight away I'm in Lightroom or Camera Raw and I can work on my pictures in the develop module there. So at the moment I'm in Photoshop, this is a JPEG image, but in Photoshop CC I can convert this to a smart filter and then go back into Camera Raw. And obviously in Camera Raw and in Lightroom we have available to us the white balance tool. And basically the idea here is that we just click on that and then we can keep clicking down on areas that we think are gonna be fairly neutral to then give a starting point for Camera Raw and Lightroom to work from. So basically we're saying, look, if I click here, that's neutral, then Lightroom will look at it and go, ah, oh, right, so if that's neutral, I now know what everything else should be. So it gives it kind of like a reference point. The only problem with this is if the person, let's say if it is a portrait shoot, if they're not holding something like a, a color checker or a gray card, you can't really find an accurate gray. It's very, very much trial and error. And you'll see that as I click around, over on the right hand side here with the temperature and the tint sliders, wherever I click, those two sliders are moving and it's trying to sort of find me the correct white balance. So it's very, very much hit and miss unless you have a color checker within the picture. So we'll come out of there. Now, another way that we can actually find the correct uh, white balance and remove color casts is using a way that I remember being shown when I first started using Photoshop and that's using a threshold adjustment layer. So this is how we do that. We're gonna first of all come over to the toolbar and I'm gonna choose the color sampler tool. Now you'll find that in the drop down underneath where the eyedropper is. And you know there's a drop down because there's that little triangle in the bottom right hand corner of the tool there. So I'm gonna choose the color sampler tool. Now it might be that by default when you first choose this tool, up in the top left hand corner of the screen there it says sample size. It might just be set to point sample. We don't really want that, we wanna give it an average because we're gonna click down on areas of our image. We don't want it to just choose one pixel. It's best and it's more accurate if we ask it to do an average. So I'm just gonna choose something like three by three as opposed to being a point sample. Now the next thing I do then, I'm gonna come over to the right hand side here where my adjustment layers are and I'm gonna choose threshold. Now this is my picture then becomes this like black and white. And I've got this histogram here now in the properties dialog. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this slider here in the middle and drag it all the way over to the left so my image goes completely white. And then I'm gonna to start to drag it back over to the right hand side very, very slowly. So now anywhere that starts to show up in black, as you can see on the image here, is basically telling me that this is like the shadow areas within your picture. So what I'm gonna do now that I'm using this color sampler tool is actually just click down in one of those areas. So I'm gonna choose this one just about there. And we can see if I turn that adjustment layer on and off, it has actually chosen the area just between the side of her face here and her little top that she's wearing, quite a dark shadowy area. So it has indeed given me the shadow area. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my threshold here and I'm gonna drag it all the way over to the right hand side so my picture goes black. Then I'm gonna get that pointer and start to bring it very slowly over into the water histogram. And anywhere that starts to turn white is basically telling me that is gonna be a highlight. So now we've got this area here that started to come up. So again, with my color sampler tool, I'm just gonna click down there. That's gonna give me a little marker and that's gonna now tell me that that has now selected a highlight. And again, if I turn off the adjustment, you can see that it is in fact chosen an area on this uh, like lollipop that this little girl's holding. Now, what you can do once you've done that is you can actually get rid of the threshold adjustment layer. So I'm just gonna press delete to remove it. Then I'm gonna get something like either a levels adjustment or a curves adjustment. It doesn't matter which one we go for, so long as we choose one that's got these, these little droppers here. And we've got three of them. We've got shadows, midtones, and highlights. So what I can do is I can actually click on the shadow 
uh, sampler and then come over to the first one that I pressed down on, that's number one here, just at the side of her face and click there. And that'll then tell Photoshop, make adjustments because this is a shadow that should be dark, like a black, and have no real kind of color cast to it. So I've clicked into there, and already we can see that makes a difference. I then come over and choose the highlight sampler, and then I click that right in the middle of where it says number two, just there, and click. And it makes a very, very fine adjustment. Now already we can see that that's made quite a nice job of removing the color cast. But there are actually three little samplers here. I've used the shadows, I've used the highlights, but what about the mid-tones? If I can use all three, it's going to give me an even more accurate removal of that colour cast and give me an exact look of what the colour of this picture should really be. But how do we choose the mid-tone? Now I'm going to take absolutely no credit whatsoever for this. This is a technique, an addition to this technique, that I learned from my good buddy Dave Cross, one of the original Photoshop guys based out in Tampa in Florida. Now this is a technique that Dave did and it works an absolute treat. So what we're going to do is we're going to first of all then, let's just remove this curves adjustment layer. We need to basically tell Photoshop now what is going to be a mid-tone within this picture. And we do that first of all by adding a blank layer. Then I'm going to go to the edit menu at the top of my screen and choose fill. And then in the contents here I'm going to choose 50% grey, click OK. And then the last thing I'm going to do is just change the blend mode of this 50% grey layer to where it says difference. And straight away it looks kind of funky. But what I'm going to do then is I'm going to then choose another threshold adjustment layer. And then now I've got this little slider in the middle here. I'm going to start bringing this in towards the histogram. And the areas that start to show up as being white are areas that are going to be my mid-tone. So I'm going to choose one area just around about here. And if I turn that on and off, let's just turn all these off apart from the bottom picture. We can see that it's telling me that somewhere in our eyes, this area here, there's a mid-tone. So I'm going to zoom in, and then I'm going to just press down with my colour sampler tool there. It gives me a number three. So now what I've got, I've actually chosen shadows, highlights, and now I've chosen mid-tones. So what I can do is I can delete all these adjustments and all these layers above my original image. Then I'll go to either a levels adjustment or a curves adjustment. Let's go for a curves adjustment, anything that gives me these little droppers. So now I'm going to choose my shadows. Number one was my shadows, so I'll click on the little sample right in the middle there. That makes a nice adjustment straight away. Then we had my highlights. My highlights was number two, so I'll click in the middle like so. But then my mid-tone, so I'm going to click on the mid-tone sampler here, come over to number three, which is right over her eye, and click right on that one there. So now, look what happens when I turn off this curves adjustment here. Turn that off and on, off and on. It's done a great way of removing that colour cast, so now we've got a pretty realistic look of how this picture could look, or how it should have looked, in fact. Now, you might not think that that's actually perfect, but if anything, this gives us a fantastic starting point, much better than having to manually try and adjust it to get rid of that red colour cast any other particular way. So that's one way there. Now, what we also have still have these one, two, and three little samplers. We can get rid of those a number of different ways. While we're in the color sampler tool there, you can either come near to one of them, hold down your Alt or your Option key, and you see that your little cursor changes to a pair of scissors, so you can click and remove it that way, or at the top of the screen it just says clear. Just click on that and they disappear. So that's two ways of doing it. The third way is a super fast way. If you use filters and plugins like I do, I'm going to go to the filter menu and I'm going to choose the Nick Collection here and I'm going to choose Color Effects Pro 4. Because within Color Effects Pro 4, we've got one that actually says Remove Color Cast. Let's have a look down here. Remove Color Cast. And you can see straight away it goes into that filter and we can turn it off and on, off and on. And that does a pretty good job of removing that color cast. You'll also see within the dialog box here of the plugin, it says strength. That is basically like the opacity slider here that we would have had on the previous way of doing it when we added that uh, curves adjustment layer. So we can sort of back it off or bring it up depending on what we want it to be. Because you might not, not want to reduce it all the way, but certainly you can have some control here by just bringing the strength slider just to how you actually want the picture to finally look. 
So there you go, there's just three ways that you can remove a color cast in your pictures. First of all, using the white, uh, white balance tool within Lightroom and Camera Raw. You've got the technique there that Dave Cross showed us uh, using the threshold adjustment layer. And finally, if you've got Nick Color Effects Pro 4, you've got the remove color cast effect. Okay, so thanks for checking out this episode. I hope you like the content. Definitely check out my buddy Dave Cross. You'll see a link on the screen now to his website, Dave Cross Workshops. I highly recommend you check it out. Dave's one of those guys that everybody turns to when they come across problems in Photoshop and have a head scratching moment. What that guy doesn't know about Photoshop, you could probably write on the back of a stamp. So definitely, definitely check him out. Um, but for now, please, if you like the content, definitely click on the like button. Make sure you click on the subscribe button and share this information with any other people that you think might like to see the content that I'm pushing out each and every week. But for now, for this week, that's all I've got for you. I'll see you next time.